It's Noble Endeavors coming to you. Get ready for some escapades and adventures too. Enjoy the journey and the fun we're bringing to you. For people, a successful trip to the backcountry includes a fun adventure with good meals and often friends. For animals, it's all about survival. They face a long, cold, bitter winter ahead and they need to collect or eat as much food as possible so they'll survive it. Here's a selection of animals that might come looking for your food. Chipmunks. They love eating through bags. Raccoons. My worst experience ever involved a raccoon that unzipped my bicycle saddlebag, reached in, and removed a freeze-dried meal. He then spent the night eating it while hissing at me if I even looked in his direction. Didn't get very much sleep that night. Mice, often overlooked until they destroy all your food. Black bear, rarely seen and rarely a problem. However, when they do arrive, it's a major high stress event with potentially life endangering moments. Here's some important background information to consider. Sense of smell. Dogs can easily detect smuggled drugs. Bears have far more powerful noses than dogs. The problem with hanging stuff from a tree branch is that most campsites only have one or two good locations. This leads to animals searching there first. Climbing bears. They climb higher and faster than us. Once up there, they leap onto the bag or the barrel until it comes down or until it opens. At that point, they eat the food. Defense Strategies Hanging a bag in a tree is barely better than nothing. Remember, if they reach it, they eat it. Food Barrels Better, good critter protection. Bears can still get lid open if not locked properly with a cotter pin, etc., which people often forget. Bear Canisters Very secure, heavy and small. You may need more than one to carry all of your food. Ursac bag, bulletproof vest material, no hanging needed. There is an optional liner to prevent squishing. Some models don't protect against critters without some additional help. Currently I use the Ursac bag as my primary way of protecting my food. It's easy for me to carry and it's critter proofed once the second rope is used at the top of the bag. Equally important is your careful selection of a campsite. Ask yourself these questions. Is it messy? Is there any visible litter? Does it have signs of heavy usage? Is bear poop present, especially under the food hanging areas? And is there any evidence of bear trails that cross the campfire area? Here's my story. 10 years ago, Bob and I were on a five day Algonquin canoe trip. During our rest day, we camped on an island. That night it was dark and foggy we had a bear visit from just before midnight until just after 4 a.m. That bear did not pass us to get our food. However, in hindsight, the danger signs were there. It was a messy site with some litter. There was bear poop present. Bear-sized game trails crossed the site and continued onto nearby campsites. Ultimately, we packed up and moved for our rest day to another nearby site on the same lake. Now, there are consequences. This is not just about the impact to you and your loss of sleep, food, etc. It also impacts other people as well as the animals involved. Consider that if a bear gets used to gather food this way, it usually leads to the death of the bear at a later time. Backcountry camping is lots of fun. Just be smart, be safe, and be aware. It's Noble Endeavors coming to you. Get ready for some escapades and adventures too. Enjoy the journey and the fun we're